A couple of months ago, I did a video showing people how to get around an error that many people faced when trying to uninstall Majisk and restore kernel images to stock. At the time, I had only been aware of one application that could manually flash the kernel of our choice. This was a paid application that I demonstrated in that video, but this week I found a free and open source alternative that can do the job for us. So in today's video, I want to introduce you to this application from Android community developer CapN Trips, while also showing you how the application itself works. Since this application is free and open source, we can download the APK file directly from the GitHub page. I'll be linking to this in the video description below along with a mirrored direct download link as well. So once we have downloaded and installed the application, we're gonna go ahead and open it up. And when you first open up the app, you're gonna be greeted with a Majisk super user prompt. So we're gonna to want to grant root access to the kernel flasher application. So up here at the top, we get some details about the device the application is installed on, along with the kernel version that we are currently running. Then we have our two slots listed here, which may only display one slot, depending on which device you installed the app to, since not all Android smartphones or tablets use this dual partition system. But when you see your partition here, we can go in and view it. And from here, this is where we can perform our backups. We can manually flash a compatible kernel using the flash button. We can restore from one of the backups we have created with the app. And we can both check the kernel version and unmount the vendor DLKM. We can do that for both slots. And down here we have our backups, which if we have created a backup, it will be listed here. We can save our RAM O ops. We can save our D message and we can save our logcat right from here. Now, as of right now, the developer says that this application currently only supports flashing those AK3 zip files. But if you wanted to flash a boot image file right now, you could create a backup, open up that zip file that it creates, and then replace the boot image file with your boot image file. However, the developer has said that they will try to work on adding the ability to flash just a boot image file from the app instead of having to flash the zip file itself. So if you're wanting to create backups of a kernel you already have installed, or maybe you want to flash a custom kernel onto your device, you now have the option of using this free and open source application called Kernel Flasher instead of booting into your custom recovery like TWRP in order to install that custom kernel.